am I not using a gin? Oh shit! You were well, bitch! Done. Well, yeah, it's a gin wine! Can you put yourself on? Dandy, can't you see? I'm in misery. Right, hello and welcome to another gin wag. I'm with Sarah Courtney. Hello! Um, what was that? Hello! Hello, I'm with Sarah Courtney. Yeah. Sarah's been in a video before, you might have seen it. It was the Irish versus Irish girl versus Scottish slang. Mm -hmm. And it was a bit of a hit. It was actually, so, well done on that one. I thought I'd come to Ireland. <laughs> She's having a party tonight and we're going to have a party. Yeah. I'm going to meet our friends, which is going to be weird because I'm socially awkward. <laughs> yeah, and they'll hate her. So. Well, they're going to hate me. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, it's going to be fun. But yeah, if you don't know what a gin wag is, it's just when I drink different Scottish gins and get guests on and talk about random stuff. This time, the gin that I wanted for the video didn't arrive in time, so I've got Tankery, which is from London, but um, it was, it's produced in Scotland now, so I mean, it'll do. We'll take it. Tank is my go-to gin, so Sarah, how did we meet? How did we meet? I feel like we were a couple now. <laughs> um, Tinder? Yeah, we, well, we met online. <laughs> we met on Twitter. Um, yeah, so Melanie um, was because I really wanted to collab with like, Scottish YouTubers while I was like over in Scotland. Um, I didn't know any, so like Melanie said she knew like her. Mm -hmm. I think she heard you me. I mean Melanie? Yeah. Um, I've just always watched her videos and well I've never actually met me. I'm meeting Melanie tonight yeah. for the first time. Which would be so mad. weird, like, um, yeah. uh, No, I just, I've always watched her videos and then she started watching my videos. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. The rest she, history. Yeah, she just said she was, like, really nice or whatever. And then I think I did, when I was looking up Scottish YouTube, I found your channel. Yeah. And because it was Beauty Creep, I was like, oh, she's probably just into beauty stuff. Yeah. And it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't work as a collab. Mm -hmm. And then when I actually went to look at her channel, I was like, oh, there's nothing about beauty here. No, no. <laughs> I think I messaged you. I think I followed you on Twitter. You did. And then you followed me back. And mm -hmm. then I think I just, after a few months or something, I think I just texted you and was like, do you, do you ever want to do a collab? I'm here. And I was like, no. <laughs> and then I went to Edinburgh and then we filmed that one. And then all of a sudden, I'm still in our <laughs> What did we do on the first day? Drink. <laughs> much fun we went to a local pub and just drank a man said dorty my mother got hit on yeah at no. this bar like this was like we was like me and you and my my sister-in-law and like, we're all young good looking people and i'm not saying my mom is not good looking <laughs> but she's a bit older you know um and uh, she yeah she got hit on she was someone bought her a drink and no one bought us a drink and she went well, I pulled. No, what was it she said? I scored. Scored, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I love your sister in law. Yeah, oh, she's great. And yeah. your friend, uh, Maria. Maria. Yeah, totally forgot. Shout her out name. to Maria. What is that? I never that. was that. really loud. Yeah. They're just so lovely. Mm. But that was a really fun We got. We had a bit too much to drink and then went back to your house and just had drink. a deep, deep. <laughs> oh, yeah, we had a part to heart. We had, we had a drink when we came back and then we had like a really like deep mm -hmm. conversation. I was really, really good. Um, I feel like we've, we've bonded. I know we keep saying that. I feel like we've known each other for years. Yeah. And I keep doing a really bad Irish accent, which is not Northern good. Irish, as she keeps on doing. Gee. I keep thinking I'm doing Sarah's accent, but apparently I'm doing Northern Irish. Oh, you know, I can be grand. <laughs> I just spat all the way over there. Did you see that? Yeah. No, but I'll collect it later. Yeah, the topics that we thought we would talk about for this video were the juicy stuff, like relationships, the fact we're both single, Ghosting. Sorry. Are you enjoying that? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm not really, I'm not really, <laughs> really Yeah, I don't really drink gin, but I, I have to do it for a gin mag. Mm -hmm. Like it's alright. I think what I don't like about it is um the tonic. Yeah, I hated tonic when yeah, I first started drinking. I don't I don't like tonic, like I would have put it with seven up or something. But yeah, I used to drink it with lemonade and it's much better. Yeah, like, yeah. But yeah, no, it's nice. And we're going to talk about being single, relationships, and then also a bit about because Sarah used to live in Edinburgh, Scotland, so like the differences between Scotland and now moving back here and what the differences are between Scotland and Ireland. So yeah, but we're going to start with the juicy stuff. Oh, we're going to start with the juicy we're stuff. We're going to start okay. with the juicy stuff, and we're going to talk about. I'm sorry, we're going to talk about relationships. <laughs> How long have you been single? I don't, I don't know why that hurt. <laughs> Because oh um, <laughs> I, I should we just end the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's just that, that'll do. <laughs> um, I've been single since um, November, so I've nearly nearly six months, which is freaking mental. I can't believe I've That's been home for six months. Yeah. What about you? Um, I get mixed up with time. <laughs> I keep thinking it's been a year, but it's now been two years. I keep mm. looking directly at that light. Oh, you shouldn't do that. Yeah, I know. I, I keep doing it for some reason. 
it's quite warm as well. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> so in my life. But yeah, about two years now. Two years. But I've always jumped from relationship to relationship, mm -hmm. so. So this is weird for you to be single for that yeah, long. Yeah, but I'm also liking it, and now the thought yeah. of getting back into another relationship is a bit really? kind of like. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm the opposite. Like, I can't I wait to get back into new, in, like a new relationship. Really? Yeah. Have you got anyone on the radar? I did. <laughs> Let's just leave it up. I don't know. Maybe we should get into it a little bit. Well, you did mention that you wanted to talk about ghosting. Or do you not? Oh, I do. I'm just preparing myself. First of all, what is ghosting? So, you should describe Oh, yeah. So ghosting is basically like when you've been chatting to someone for a while and then suddenly they're just not respond. They're not like looking at your messages. They're not like texting back. They're just like, they're Which, not there. Like they're like, it's like they're dead pretty much and they're not communicating with you in any way. So that's currently what's happening with me. I never experienced it at all and um, and even like most guys like to tell me like oh like I'm not interested blah 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 whatever but even before I was in a relationship so it's like I always got like that so mm -hmm. I've never just gotten like dead silence. Yeah. And it's it's I, I don't I don't enjoy it. <laughs> it's very rude. So rude. I mean I, fair enough if it fizzled out and yeah. the conversation just sort of slowly mm -hmm. stopped being a thing but the situation is not like that. Like no. you went on a few dates with him. Yeah, we went on three dates, and um, and they're like, like every date like was like really really good. We're like very communicative, and we're having a great time, and we're kissing loads and whatever. I even invited to my book launch. I'm having a book launch and like she's not a book. <laughs> we can get into that. <laughs> Hold my book. Um, no, so like yeah, so I um, invited him to my book launch, and he was like really touched about that, and like. I had to tell him something really personal about myself um, and then since then, nothing. Like he was fine when I told him, he says, oh yeah, well, like well, I'll have a think and see where, where things are going to go or whatever and then nothing. Rude. So rude. But I the message that he left on red was just like one that you would feel, like common decency would just be to say something. Yeah, exactly. Like the fact that he didn't even read it. Like I like I understand if people read it and like they're, they're kind of busy or they're like they see it and it's like, whoa, this is like too much. I don't I don't I'm just, like you should still reply, but I understand yeah. if you read but like the fact that he, he obviously knew it was there. Yeah. But hasn't read it and I was just like what what Why? is going on? Yeah. Because I'd be curious anyway to see what someone messages me, like especially when we've been dating. Mm -hmm. Um and so, obviously when you see the preview, like it doesn't the whole thing doesn't come up. Yeah, exactly. So you don't read the whole thing. Yeah. And it was I thought it was a really nice thing. I was just basically because we'd only been on three dates, it's like it's very unsaid about how you feel about each other. So mm -hmm. I was kinda of just letting them know that like, oh yeah, I really like you. I'm curious to see where this goes. Um, you know, but I understand if you don't want to, whatever. Um, but I'm not putting any pressure on you. I think you tried to be so nice, but I was just letting him know how I felt because I don't mm -hmm. like leaving things unsaid or whatever. He 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 pursued me like mm -hmm. I, I. He got you excited and then yeah. Why like it, it just feels like that whole thing was pointless. I know I'm gonna learn from this, but like yeah. I just to me right now, I think that was the whole that was pointless. Mm -hmm. Waste of time and feelings and not uh, even worth your attention. Mm -hmm. He's probably not even like thinking of it like that as well. Like you're getting yourself so worked up about it. I know. And he's probably not in the yeah. same boat. Yeah. He's probably like onto the next one now. If something. someone wants to talk to you, they will. Yeah. Um, that seems really harsh. <laughs> well, that, but no, that's no, that is no, true, but I've yeah. had to tell myself that as well before yeah. when like somebody's not replied or whatever, and I'm like, well, if they wanted to talk to me, they yeah. just they would exactly. And it's obviously not right for me if that's exactly like, if you've gone treat people like that, then I don't want anything to do with if that. If he's making you feel like that just yeah. now, then yeah, that's why that's what I had a thought today. I was just like, he is making me feel shit about myself, mm -hmm. and no one has the right to do that. Like, exactly, no one should be able to. Do <laughs> <things>. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I know, but like it's just it's just weird because I've never I've heard people talk about it, and I I just don't understand it. No. Like I like I recently got asked out another date actually, um, but like I'm not because of this other person. I was like I don't I'm not really ready to be dating. I'm just I'm not my heart's not ready for, yeah. for that kind of thing again. So I I, I just like she asked me out on a date and I said like oh listen I um I do like I do like you and I whatever but I'm just not in the right place and I just was upfront about it and she appreciated that. What? I, it's just common decency. Good yeah. Honesty is the best. <sighs> Sorry, does that was a rant that I need to I don't to get understand out. people that like beat around the bush or like um, I don't know. I just I just be honest. Mm -hmm. It's just complicated. And, like, I know it's an awkward conversation to have. I know I'm like to put other people down, but like this is more I'm awkward a big, than that. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big f***ing girl. I can yeah. take it. Like we've only been on three dates. Yeah, they were great dates, and I really liked them. But like I'll get over it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so. 
Ooh, get it out, get it out. Ooh, that feels good. Na-na-na-na-na-na-na. <laughs> 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 I knew that I would. On the way back to the oh, stay dropped me off the house, is that okay? I'm pissed anyway. What? Oh, um, okay, she's got to come over now. We're filming a video, but she can come in. She can, I don't know. If she oh, it's Yeah, oh, yeah, it's John. Sorry. Oh, my she God, was, would she come in? I don't know. She would be so good, but yeah. she'd love Shauna. Oh, my yeah, God. Well, she's one of these people that you just instantly yeah. warm to. But I want her to be in it because she's a lover. Yeah, oh, she's oh, she's amazing. Like, she's one of the, the, the best people. Um, instantly, I was just like drawn to her. She's yeah. Just, oh. She's one of those people that just makes you feel like you've known her for years. Like, yeah. she's just like, she's, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 video was like, it was it. Shauna stood up in the video, video just went, You're so sexy, Shauna. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's Maria. Like, she just, she loves You're just so it. Like, sexy. She just says what's on her mind all the time and she's always very, like, complimentary. She's like, hot. People. Yeah. Sorry. Um, Ghosting, ghosting men. So have you have you like been ghosted before? Have you experienced no, it? No, um, right, men. I know, right? How many what? times have I said that this holiday? Oh, I know, yeah. Men. Ugh. But then again, I've never actually really dated like a woman, so I don't know what they're like either. Women. Women. People in general are. They are. They are. Oh no, my. We got oh. paper straws when I was kind of disintegrating. Mine's <laughs> oh, good. Mine's not. Because I've only you've had yours longer. Technique. So yeah, that's how my dating life is going right now. Wow, good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fantastic. I love being single. Yeah, but you always have someone, something maybe go wrong or something with somebody, but then instantly, not instantly, but like sh usually soon after, there'll be somebody else. Yeah, well that kind of happens. I don't know, like it's, it's weird. weird. Yeah, it just go, it goes on to the next person. I mean, I don't, I don't, I, I go out a lot. So like, mm -hmm. and then I do make the effort, like if I, if I like someone, like I'm not the kind of person who just kind of like sits back and was just like, oh, let them come to me. Like I'm just, I just pursue people. Yeah, you're pretty forward. Yeah. Good. Sometimes a little too far. Oh, I haven't told you that story, I don't think. But oh, from the the blackout weekend? Yeah. Yeah. Did I tell you what I said to him? No. Oh, God, no. I wouldn't. You can still tell me later. We went out for, for drinks. There's like a whole group of us. And I got really, really drunk. We hadn't even done anything, but I kind of had my eye on this guy. And I was like, he's, he's hot. That's you, cool. man. <laughs> Yeah, apparently, I like I don't remember it because I had a little bit too much to drink, and I'm not like this at all. Like this is out of character for me. So I went up to him and says, "You can have me anytime, anywhere." No, he can't. That's the thumbnail. <laughs> no, he can't. Yes. no, I was just like, no, he cannot. Where did that come from? And I, I like I didn't even know. You didn't fancy him earlier, did you? No, I didn't. Fa I didn't think I fancied him before that night. But that night, you were like, like, oh yeah, he's good looking. Mm -hmm. But like. I wish I was more forward. Mm -hmm. I'm not very forward. Oh really? Yeah, just generally in life. Yeah. But with guys, yeah, I'm not very forward. I made a move with someone. Um, oh yeah. Recently. I just think like I'll regret it if I don't do it. Yeah. So like even if it's like really embarrassing or they like, reject me or whatever, I just like at least I tried. Yeah, you know? and see that's the thing, the fear of rejection, I think. But it's like yeah. you know what you got to lose. That's, yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, yeah. Dignity, self-respect, love. What was it? You can have me any. Anytime, anywhere, or some, uh, something along those lines. Maybe I should just try that. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask you, did you find it easier to find guys in Scotland than in Ireland, but you were with someone? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I can't ask you that. Oh, there's a spider. What's oh, a spider? Oh, hello. Hey, spider man. <laughs> well, like, yeah, well, I was single in Scotland for a bit. How was that? Briefly. Did you find guys as easily as you do in Ireland? <laughs> I always seem to do, yeah. Actually, yeah, because I had three boyfriends in Scotland. <laughs> so, like, I went from... Oh, sorry, man, at one time. Oh, no! <laughs> no. Oh, was that someone coming in? Shauna. Shauna. Be careful opening the door. There's a light there, so just open slowly. There's what here? There's a light. Hello! Doing? No, we're still filming. <laughs> I was at a communion party. My cousins were full on singing to Beyonce Halo. I reefed the mic out with them. I'm full on. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, I think she was home. <laughs> you look great. You do. Nice I'm going to get a drink. So did you have a late one with Maria then? Two? No, Maria no, left. Maria left. I don't know. I'm a bit drunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so I'm like, all out tonight. Yeah. I'm like, I'm going to stay here tonight. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Aww, um, I'm, I'm still talking about this after a late night. I know. I've never done something like this. <laughs> Why do I not have? <laughs> David, like, kind of twisted my arm and was like, start up on Instagram, start up vlogging. I wouldn't get the time for kids. I'll collab with you. So call 999 number. <laughs> Um, you feel like you're live, so don't you? Yeah, no. <laughs> you buy that here today. No, no, I've brought it over. Oh, you my bitch. Love it. Yeah. We haven't talked about 
um, Scotland and the difference between Scotland and Ireland yeah. and stuff like that. So what is one. is there much of a difference? Because they're all so similar. Yeah, no, I think yeah. yeah, there's not really much of a difference. But we did mention it. Would you ever move been. here to Ireland? Probably not. Not all no. Scotland. Yeah, I love my. Mm -hmm. I'm too much of a home bird. Yeah, yeah. but you like to travel here. At least you have yeah, to I like to travel here. Yeah. 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 Um, but no, I'd get to home fit. But that's the thing. Like I like. I think if I wasn't living in Ireland, I would live in Scotland. Yeah. Like I love. I love Scotland. I think it's so similar to Ireland. Yeah, it was like, so nice when I went out. Me, remember we went to the outdoor cinema to Mean Girls. Her oh, nanny was clean singing happy birthday. I was like, no, no, no. My element, by the way, see when I hear Irish accents, see when you used to talk and get right into it, I'm like, this. I'm like 90 miles an hour. I, yeah. I, I think people probably understand you more than you could understand us. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I feel like I can talk fast and it's fine and you just yeah, 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 yeah. But as if it was English, oh, <laughs> her fram was like, I love Aaron so much. I really have. Like, yeah, 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 yeah,